Fired for saying men cannot change into women. Suing employer. That's right. That's that's what we're dealing with here. A woman said that men cannot change into women. Now, whether you agree with that or not, I don't know that uh, you should really be in the business of uh, empowering corporate nationalists to corpo state nationalists to define our morality for us and make it a condition our employment that we have to adhere to a very very strict orthodox morality otherwise we'll be kicked out of of living basically this is essentially this woman is facing the corpo state nationalist attempt to murder a human being without actually shedding blood and uh, this is happening in England, but it's happening in America all the time as well. So, our, uh, this is a Christian Headlines report. Woman fired for wrong think on transgenderism, suing organization Center for Global Development. That's the name of the organization that she was working for. Center for Global... See, you, you really want uh, uh, an organization that lauds itself as having the answers for how the whole world should be constructed, firing human beings for wrong think. It's, uh, it's, I won't say it's scary, it's predictable, but I guess in, in a sense it's scary, but it's, it's more predictable to me than scary. And that's a long story in and of itself. And I won't get into it because I want to keep this under 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 seven minutes if I can. Maya Forster returns to court to defend free speech on transgenderism. This is from ChristianToday.com. Maya Forst, Forstar, Forstater, the former think tank researcher fired over trans critical tweets, is back in court this week to defend her right to free speech. Forstater lost her job at the Center for Global Development. Like, that's just... Just mind-boggling. After tweeting her opposition to gender self-identification and stating that men cannot change into women. She took the nonprofit to court claiming that CGD's actions breached equality laws, but she lost her case at a hearing in December 2019 when the judge ruled that her treat tweets were offensive and exclusionary. Just, yeah. The, the, the offensive and exclusionary. She is appealing the verdict at a two-day hearing beginning on Tuesday. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get a little bit more deeper with this one. She is appealing the verdict. Uh, okay, ultimately, what it comes down to is an attack on my right to free speech. Can you really compare what I believe in—that sex is a biological reality—to the truly evil beliefs of the Nazis? But that's the equivocate. They, that's how they're uh, equating the two. That if you dare believe that uh, gender is biological and you can't just choose, well then, well then you're you're literally worse than Hitler. And and you know what? They would probably think it would be. I mean, the, I'll just put you. I'll put this perspective in your mind. The people who are clamoring for human beings to have their very lives destroyed, essentially market murder. This is market murder, is what it is. They're going to murder your ability to make a living, which is a de facto murder in my my book. Not in the legal sense. I wouldn't necessarily want to want to prosecute people for literal murder, but spiritually, at least, it's a market. It's murder. It's a form of murder. This this form of market murder. These same people that will murder you, market murder you, and and they would probably, if they could, they would literally murder you because they're that level of of, of frenetic. Uh, hate built within this whole cult these are the same people that continue to advocate for human beings having the quote-unquote right to terminate human life because they just choose not to bring that life into the world you get pregnant and you have the right to murder a human being they are more outraged because you dare say a trans that that, that uh well Essentially, that you can't you can't just name what your gender is. Now, I think that that this issue is more complicated. I don't necessarily agree with her statements per se. I also don't agree that a transgender woman is quite the same thing as a a biologically born woman. There's even health wise, she's not going to have the same issues that uh, a, a biological woman will have in in overwhelming aggregate. She's going to be more in common with men in her biological. Uh, health needs than she will uh, women uh, but be that as it may i think it's it is a nuanced complicated issue that bears adult conversation so i'm not necessarily saying i agree with her stance 
just a black and white stance like that. But I certainly don't agree that a human being who believes such things is anywhere close to being on the, on the hierarchy of bad thoughts or even just bad thoughts, the hierarchy of evil, if you will. This doesn't rate for me. This isn't even close to rating for me. There are people out there that the quote unquote left celebrates who have, let's just say that they have in their history some degree of, uh, of love for human beings that are below the age of consent. I'll, I'll put it to you that way. These folks are defended. In their eyes, it is far more evil for you to believe that biological male is always only be, that that biological male is always only male and biological female is only female that is someone that you terminate but that that would be that person is far more evil than a human being who may have an attraction to a human being below the age of consent i'll just put it to you that way so yeah the uh i mean what's going on here is pretty hideous and the fact that uh, they are transferring this type of value system coercively across the lands around the world this this ideology of of hate and despair this dystopian ideology of hate and despair that borrows that that really steals christian morality and turns it upside down where in christian in the christian morality we have one sacrifice and then we're done in their morality they have millions of sacrifices these sacrifices are coercively sacrificed against their will whether it's uh, unborn children being slaughtered or human beings with wrong think that are slaughtered and they're slaughtered so that the the authoritarian right left can continue its perverse sins that it is 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 committing and that's the state of affairs but but fret not folks fret not it's a cannibalistic ideology and it cannot sustain itself. You, know, you look at the French Revolution. You look at the English Civil War. Uh, and I mean uh, Oliver Cromwell's English Civil War, not the War of the Roses so much. You look at the English Civil War of Oliver Cromwell uh, he played, because he played the role of the cancel cultureians. And then you had uh, Robespierre playing the, the role of the cancel cultureians in the French Revolution. These were cannibalistic uh, revolutions that in the end, well... There were some changes that happened afterwards, but overwhelmingly, the systems reverted back to what was. And that's most likely what you'll see here. Even if it takes another five years or so for it to play out, that's, that's what I predict will happen.